Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another declutter. I'm going to refer you to the intro of the declutter for all the information about why I'm doing this and how I'm going about it. And uh, definitely check down in the description box below for the blog sale that is going on, the giveaway with the new products that I am decluttering. And yeah, today we're going to do eye stuff that is not palettes and pans. Let's say we're doing single eyeshadows, we're doing primers, we're doing liners, um, brow products and lashes. So let's start with primers. Um, I have a deluxe sample of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I haven't really used it so I'm definitely gonna keep it and try it since I've heard so many good things about it. This uh, Kiko Milano Neutral Eye Base is now in my project pan, so I'm gonna try to finish it, hopefully by the end of the year. The e.l.f. Glitter Primer, I've used it a few times, um, but yeah, I have this other fixing medium and eye base by Neve Cosmetics, and I think I'm gonna keep this one and um, yeah, pass this one along. The Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer by Wet n Wild. I like this, I used, I've used it already for a month or two and I'm gonna keep it. This is the e.l.f. Dirty e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. This has stopped working for me, so it doesn't really keep my eyeshadows in place anymore and I'm gonna get rid of it. And this is the Inglot Duraline. It's not per se a primer, but it's magic in a bottle. It's a mixing medium. I'm gonna definitely keep it as I've had it for a long time and you can't really go through it that much. And then I have my two MAC paint pots in Groundwork and Painterly and I love them both. Um, this one was a, a present from a friend and I, I've been using it. I love it as a, as a one, one and done type of eyeshadow and this is Painterly. And uh, yeah, I've been using it. I would love it if I would actually have been smart enough to get soft ochre that's yellow based. But I mixed them up so I got the wrong one. <laughs> but these I'm all keeping, getting re rid of these two. And uh, I usually keep my things here. I would say we can actually get in and go through this drawer. Um, there is a NYX eyeshadow base. This is the white one. I really like it to do very colorful looks, so I'm gonna definitely keep this one. And then I have some brow pomades. Let me see. These. These are my brow pomades. This is the Colourpop brow color in Redhead. And I've used it a little bit, but the color is just not right for me, so I am going to put this in my blog sale because it's barely used. This is my Nabla Brow Pot in Mars. It's an auburn shade. It's a little bit darker than Redhead, so I can make it work when I feel like I need a very light brow, and you can see I used it a lot. So I'm gonna keep this one. And then I have my dip brows. Uh, chocolate is the perfect shade and uh, I've used it quite a bit. Um, the trick of these, if they dry out, is to just scrape off the top layer with a spatula or something that is uh, abrasive, let's say, and uh, just uh, scrape it off and start using it again. I haven't used these in a while, I should actually start doing my brows with this again. It's just a bit longer. I'm gonna keep chocolate. And I think, yeah, this is uh, old and dried out, so I'm gonna get rid of Auburn. It's such a pity, but yeah, I don't think it's salvageable. Too bad, Auburn goes. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these two. Then gel liners, actually, I have quite a few. And a backup even. <laughs> this is the Inglot AMC liner in 77, the black one. This is my only black liner. I use it with the Duraline because these dry out very fast. So I just use the, a drop of Duraline and I love this so much I have a backup, which actually I think I'm gonna just 
sell because I never opened this, it's new and I'll never finish this uh, black gel liner because I am not doing wings anymore. I don't, I don't know, I don't like it. So I am going to sell the backup. And then these are all ColourPop gel liners. We have the shade Best O, which I recommended in my fall favorites from ColourPop just um, a little bit ago. I love this shade, it's the perfect burgundy. It's just a tad light, let's say, to make a wing, but it's a, a beautiful shade. Then I have Fast Lane, which is a gorgeous teal. I have Teaspoon, which is a green. And No Shame is a dark black and purple. And Overboard is a beautiful bronze. I haven't used these very much, actually, because again, I don't really do wings anymore. So I think I'm gonna get rid of Overboard, the bronze, the green, teaspoon. I'm gonna keep No Shame because I think a dark purple works well and fast lane because I love the shade and I'm getting rid of Besto as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put these on my blog sale. They've been barely used. Oh, this drawer already looks better, doesn't it? Let's move on to the next one. How about more Colourpop? These are all the Super Shock shadows I have. As you can see, I don't really love them too much. Uh, this is the Zingara Quad. I recommended it again in my fall favorites because the shades of this are amazing. I've used these a couple of times. I'm just gonna sell them because I just don't use the, the Super Shock shadows. I have these shades in pressed powder anyways. So this one is going on the vlog sale. Then, let's see, these two are new. This is the shade Ibiza, it was a limited edition. And, I mean, it's a beautiful shade, but I haven't used it since I bought it and it was like somewhere in the middle of summer. So I'm gonna put this on sale as well. This is the shade Moonwalk and I love this shade. It was originally, actually, I realized I forgot about these, in the Love of Flare set. Um, these are also beautiful, beautiful shades. I am going to uh, put this on sale on the blog as well because I haven't used them since I first got it. I used Moonwalk a little bit more than the others, but for the rest I haven't. It has two beautiful dark greens down. So I am going to get rid of the whole Lava Flare set and keep Moonwalk. Then, um, these two were limited edition. This is birthday cake from this year's birthday. This is Party of Five from the five million um, gift with purchase that they had. And this one are right broken, I just repressed it. But it's not really a shade that I use or, I don't know, it's again a format that I don't like. So I'm gonna sell these. Same goes with the shade Birthday Girl, another limited edition. I know people look for these things, so I'm just gonna give it to someone who wants uh, these limited editions. The shade Sailor is a beautiful glitter top coat. It's, I don't know if you can see, it has a beautiful blue shift on a light champagne base. But again, I barely use these because I don't like the format and they take up so much space. So I'm gonna sell that. Same goes with Millionaire, beautiful bronze shade, but I have this in a pressed format, which I prefer. This is the shade Lala and this is just old I think so yeah you can still get something from it actually but it's this is old this I'm gonna trash I'm doing well I am doing well um, this shade is lightning bug beautiful beautiful top coat it's I think one of my favorite super shock shadows ever it's a beautiful orangey gold glitter top coat. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is a yellow shade, it's called Heat. Also gorgeous. I used it, I think, only once. Can you see there's still the pattern there? This is a beautiful yellow though. And I don't really have yellow eyeshadow. Difficult. 
very difficult. No, I think I'm going to sell this one as well. Um, this is the shade As You Wave, another beautiful duochrome that was from the Summer's collection, I think. And I think I have dupes for this. It's a duochrome of silver and gold. I have a dupe for this for sure in my single shadows, in my pressed shadows. And this is the shade Muse. Beautiful rose gold. I hope you guys can see how gorgeous these are. But yeah, I'm just not using these shades. And these three are Coconut, Hydroplane and Bay. I love Coconut and I don't think I have anything like it. Look at this. Boom. The best blue ever. This I'm keeping. This is the Amanda Steele Hydroplane shade. Also beautiful blue, but with it's more of a glittery shade, let's say, than metallic. I'm getting rid of this one. And the final shade I have here is Bay. This was such a sought after shade for me. I really, really wanted it. It was one of the first ones I got because it's a purple base with a blue shimmer. But I remember being quite disappointed of how it worked out on my eyes. It didn't really look as shimmery as I wanted it. So I'm getting rid of this one as well. Wow, this went super well. I'm keeping three. The rest you'll find on the blog sale. I have all the boxes still. Um, so yeah, this went really well. I like how this is going. Let's move on to glitters. Also a nicely packed uh, drawer here. I have quite a bit of them. Um, I'm gonna start with the Makeup Geek Sparklers. These I bought in a bundle a while ago and I haven't really used them, but I should because they're really, really pretty. But I definitely um, love the three colored ones. I'm gonna get rid of the white one because it's a bit chunkier and not as, I don't know, wow. Um, you can see it's a white with some gold shift into it, but I think I have similar things, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Then uh, NYX glitters. <laughs> These are still sealed. This one is still sealed. The blue one. Then this copper is so gorgeous. There's a green. And then, as I said, I had already something similar. Uh, this one is the shade Ice. Beautiful. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of that one and keep these three that are open because I love this. I remember wearing it and getting a lot of compliments. This is a very pretty shade and I actually see myself wearing the green because I love green. So I'm gonna keep these three and get rid of the blue. Then these are actually not per se glitters but they're from TKB. They're the Gold Reflex and the Burning Leaves. Beautiful, very fine glitter. Um, I love these. As you can see, maybe they're... I don't know if you can see how messy they are, but I'm keeping these for sure. They're awesome. This is actually a lip effect from um, a duo that I had. I don't know, I'm getting rid of this. I don't, even, I don't think I ever used it even. Then, um, these are a bit more of an issue. <laughs> I bought a whole pack from bulkglitters.com with many, many different shades of glitter and they're awesome. They're just a bit chunky. One that I'm keeping for sure is Black Coppermine. I hope you can see how this shifts beautifully green to copper to gold. Um, this is amazing. I'm definitely going to keep this one. I think I'm going to get rid of Pink Kisses because I never used it and it's pink. So um, this is gonna go, this is a beautiful gold. Do I have something similar? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, um, from Makeup Geek. So I'm gonna keep the Makeup Geek one and gonna get rid of this one. This is called Topaz Twist. It's a dark olive -y type of shade, but I've never used it. So I'm gonna pass that along. This is a purple glitter. I don't think I have a purple glitter. Do I have anything else? Yeah. 
yeah so this is more of a cool tone this is more of a warm tone that's purple moon and luscious lavender I'm gonna keep purple moon and get rid of luscious lavender because yeah I just need one purple glitter I am definitely keeping saber red I did a whole video for glitter lips last year with this I love this glitter this is a starstruck silver and it's a straight up holographic silver glitter how does it compare to the next one yeah this one is just white with green and blue and this is straight up holographic I actually wanted to use this on my nails to see how it would work out so I think I'm gonna keep this one and this is a beautiful mint green this is so difficult oh and I have another ice one well this is easy this I'm gonna get rid of it's mists of the mint because it's the same as the next one I just showed you this green one is more difficult and I also have this aqua one I think I'm gonna keep the green which is called mint julep and I'm gonna get rid of this aqua in sea spray I just never used it and this is a black glitter how do we feel about black glitter I mean it's beautiful but when am I ever gonna wear black glitter I'm gonna pass this along but I did well look so this is these are the glitters I'm keeping and these are the glitters I'm getting rid of I think it's okay I mean I probably should have gotten rid of more because I don't really use glitters that much but anyways next drawer this is bases and loose pigments also difficult drawer so I am going to start with my Nabla cream shadows I have four of these I adore bakery it's been in my favorites multiple times it's the perfect everyday eyeshadow shade I think it's pretty similar to groundwork but I this is a little bit easier to work with so I'm definitely gonna keep this one Supreme is a unique shimmery red keeping this one these are like the formula of these is really good caffeine is my smoky eye base it's a dark brown with the golden shift let's say keeping this one for sure and this is more difficult this is underground this I used as an eyeshadow base but as you can see it just dried out so fast I can't even get anything off of it I am gonna toss underground that was painless not too bad then uh, these are color tattoos also um, present from friends this black one I used recently for Halloween this is awesome I'm gonna definitely keep the black because I need a black base for some looks um, this is a bronze shade also on the drier side I mean it's pretty but I have caffeine by Nabla which I'm gonna keep and so I'm gonna put this one away and uh, this is the shade barely branded it's a champagne I think yeah very beautiful but I don't use this type of shades and it's drying out so I'm just gonna get rid of this one as well then the NYX Vivid Brights this is in the shade Bad Blood I also use this for my Halloween look I love this and use it very little it's newer for me I love this I'm keeping it and this is an H&M mousse eyeshadow in a green shade oh this is beautiful it, this is a green with a gold shimmer beautiful but I haven't used it since I'm here I think then this is from Kiko Milano it's their cream eyeshadow in the shade 01 I can't even get into these with my fingers because of my nails this is a beautiful oh this is a beautiful champagne it's just I don't use cream shadows I'm gonna put this on the blog sale because it's almost new another elf smudge pot this is a bronzy shade I've used it I think once or twice and I'm just gonna pass this along again 
And last one we have a Zoeva. This was a cream liner. Uh, yeah, cream eyeliner actually. And it still has a seal on, but I think, yeah, I did use it. It's a beautiful burgundy, but I don't use cream liner anymore. So I'm just going to put this on the blog sale because, yeah, it's beautiful though. Beautiful burgundy shade. And now we're left with Loose Pigments by Neve Cosmetics. And I think I have more. Why do I only have these? And uh, these were actually in my two press pile. So these are beautiful shades. This is the shade Camaleonte. It's a duochrome, purple and teal, I think. It's beautiful. And these are, have great formula. You can use this Rujada to put them on your lids. Beautiful formula. And what I want to do with these is actually press them in pans and then have them in a Z palette type thing. This is a beautiful shade, I think, wait, <laughs> I can't remember the name. This is Versailles. It's a beautiful, met super metallic copper. Then I have, this is this Jello. It's actually a fine glitter gold and white. Beautiful as well. These are glitters. This is a shade ticket. It was a limited edition. Beautiful, beautiful copper glitter. Now that I think about it, it should maybe be with the glitters, but I love it. Definitely keeping this one. This is the shade Liquid Mirror, and it really is a liquid mirror. When you foil it, it's so good. Yeah, it's very hard for me to get rid of these. This is the shade Ginger, maybe the more normal of the ones I have. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. And these are their mini pots, actually. Their full size are much bigger. This is the shade Video Game, which is a purpley glitter. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I've never used it. Or once, maybe. And this is the shade Fondente. If you know me, Fondente is my favorite burgundy eyeshadow. And it's a matte, which means I cannot press it, unfortunately, but I'm definitely keeping it. This is MAC Blue Brown, everybody's favorite. I pressed half of it, so this is half empty, I think, but I'm definitely keeping it. And this is a Bare Minerals loose eyeshadow, a very pretty, if I can remember correctly, a very pretty shade for every day, but I never use it. Oh yeah, look at that, very pretty. But I never use it, I'll pass it along. And another drawer has definitely gotten a good cleaning. These are all the things that I'm getting rid of. Some in the trash, some on the blog sale. And this is what I'm keeping. It's awesome, this is going so well. I can actually now put everything together, creams with creams. And loose with loose. There we go. And I'm actually going to go through these Neve ones and press them so that I can carry them around. Well, from three overflowing drawers to two and an empty one.